Governor Gregoire has proposed the idea of putting tax on non-necessary food items like candy, soda, and bottled water. We're going to see what the students at UW think about this upcoming tax proposal. About how much candy or soda and stuff do you drink, eat per week? Uh, probably like 30 sodas, 10 bags of candy. I go through a bag, one of the jumbo bag of M&M's a week. A lot. <laughs> Definitely dark chocolate every night. So about how much candy or soda do you consume each week, would you say? I don't consume, well, actually. Depends on if I have any candy. Is it finals week or like regular? <laughs> I guess it depends how stressed I am. Definitely more during finals week. I have like probably about four sodas every day. Diet Coke is like water to me. <laughs> I don't drink soda. As far as candy, very little. I don't really drink soda ever, but I have chocolate most days, yeah. I don't consume any soda, but candy, um, not that much candy. Basically the idea is that there would be a sales tax on candy, soda, bottled water, and things like that. So how do you guys feel about that? Um, I don't know, considering what's going on, like especially here at UW with the budgets being cut, mm -hmm. I don't think it would be ex like too bad of a thing as long as it's not like high taxing. I feel like that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm all for the increase in taxes on soda and bottled water, but leave my candy alone, please. <laughs> I don't know, I'd prefer if Gregoire kept her mitts out of my candy consumption. Well, I'm against taxes. They are evil and bad. Candy tax sounds stupid. Everything's already a, a little expensive here, and so I could I think it's a bad idea. But then it's all probably good, so people won't buy candy. But it could be a good source of revenue. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would be in support of it, kind of like other sin taxes, like with cigarettes and alcohol. I think it's a really good idea. Yeah, I think it's a great idea because the whole reason they're not taxed is because they're considered food, and food isn't taxed because it's a necessity. But these are things that are absolutely luxury. We eat a lot of like, sugar, a lot of people have sodas and candy, and maybe they'll help people not have as much sugar in their lives. That might be a neat idea in the sense that like it makes you think whether or not you should be buying candy and soda, like just another incentive not to. It could either break people's candy and soda habits or it could, those people that are stuck on those habits could help fund the economy in some ways. No, personally I don't understand the bottled water one. Just. I mean, water's not bad for you. Well, it sounds like quite a few UW students are big candy and soda consumers, so maybe this tax will raise a little bit of money that could maybe help us. Who knows? Reporting for The Daily's Double Shot, this is Kimberly Spaulding.